shallow. What I love about Pilates is that I find that it really intersects as a exercise modality really well with conducting because a lot of what we do in Pilates, we focus on the breath, we focus on precision, we focus on flow and concentration. And it's a very detailed kind of an exercise. So it is most definitely a good exercise. We really focus on the core, which as Angel was saying, affects your posture. Um, which is paramount when you're up there. It's also a very detailed kind of uh, an experience, a detailed kind of exercise. And I find that for musicians, you're not a successful musician, composer, conductor, if you're not a detail-oriented person. So I think it combines that kind of cerebral mess that we all enjoy but getting in contact with the body, which sometimes we don't totally enjoy and we forget about. Um, and I think on a practical level too, when you're actually there and you're at the studio and you're getting ready to get up and conduct, we always start the day with the movement portion. And I think it gives everybody a real opportunity to calm down, tap into your body and kind of prepare yourself uh, to get up there. And I think, you know, I think a lot of conducting, it's finding that balance or that, that space. And I think Conrad and Angel would agree between control and flow so that your movements, you're trying to communicate to a whole entire orchestra, there has to be control. You have to know what you're doing. And on the other hand, you're expressing music. So there has to also at that same time be that flow. And I think that Pilates really uh, brings those together in a really great way.